Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Techie Sudan. In this video, we are going to learn about collection data type. In collection data type, specifically we are going to learn about string. First, let us understand what is string. A string is a collection of character or a sequence of character. This is known as a string. How we are going to represent this string in Python? This string can be represented either by using a single quotes or it can be initialized either by a double quotes or it can be initialized either by a triple quotes. Triple quotes in the sense either you can make use of three single quotes or you can make use of three double quotes. Clear? These are the different way of initializing a string. So whenever I am using a single quotes and double quotes, string should be given in a single line. For example, let me give data. I will be giving this is my new example. I can give such a way in a single line. It cannot be given in a multiple line in case of double quotes and single quotes. If I want to initialize a multi-line string for a variable, is that possible? That's possible. That's possible only in case of triple quotes where multi-line initialization can be given. For example, let me give, let me cut this here and let me give enter and let me paste it here. Let me close this by using triple quotes. Now you can notice that when I am giving data as my variable name, you can notice that the output is being displayed as this is my followed by new line. New example is displayed. Clear? If you want to initialize multi-line string for a variable, it can be done by using triple quotes. It might be either by using a triple single quotes or by using a triple double quotes. This is the additional features of triple quotes. The one more implementation of triple quotes is it acts as a dog string. When you are coming for your scripting environment here, when I am giving this particular string by using triple quotes such a way, what happens here? This will be considered as my dog string. Dog string is nothing for, it's nothing but, it's nothing but the command line similar to your C programming where multi line command line, where multiple statement for my ref reference I am giving. That is nothing but a dog string. Clear? I hope so you are clear with this dog string. Dog string is nothing but a command line writing a command for my reference. I am trying to execute this particular file, it will throw me no output. The reason is just this will be considered for my reference. So no operation is done. So that is the reason dog string will not be displayed. Dog string will be just only for my reference. Such kind of dog string can be written by using a triple quotes. Hope so you are clear with how to declare a variable and how to declare a dog string. And next we will move on to accessing a string. How to Accessing, access a string. A string can be accessed by using two ways. One way is by using indexing. Indexing, that's the first method. Indexing, it can be done by two ways. One is nothing but positive indexing. And other is but nothing but by using negative indexing. These are the two different ways of doing indexing. And next is by using slicing. Clear? These are the two different methods which is used for implementing this accessing a string. Let us start with indexing. First, let me consider, uh, let me declare a variable. Just a minute. Let me declare a variable called Suganya and let me start my indexing. If I give a name of 0 as my input, what happens? S will be printed, which is nothing but when I am initializing a string, the first portion of a string is considered as a 0th portion and followed by first portion, second portion and so it goes on. So if I, if I give name of 1, what happens? U will be printed. Clear? If I give name of 2, what will be printed? G will be printed. Such a way, accessing starting from 0 until the end, in a positive manner that is known as positive indexing. The same can be accessed by using a negative values that is nothing but by using minus 1. If I give name of minus 1 I can able to fetch the last character of my string that is nothing but a and if I give name of minus 2 what happens it fetches the value y. So this way of accessing is called negative indexing. I hope so you are clear with indexing and next we will move on to slicing. Slicing is nothing but extracting a substring from a string is called slicing. Let me give 
let me first understand what is the syntax of slicing syntax of slicing is slicing will accept three parameter first is your start parameter and next is your end parameter whenever you are giving in it will iterate only till n minus 1 and last is your step parameter it almost similar to your for loop we will be using range function this parameter is similar to your range function and we will move on to example of it if I give name of 1 colon and if I left such a way this 1 is considered as a starting point and if I just doesn't mention my end point it will go till my end of my string so if name is your string starting from first portion this is first portion character is u and till my end of my string so starting from u it goes to end of my string this is how it goes on so we will go with the next method if I give some character which which way I doesn't mention my start method start portion but if I mention as a end portion as for here so what will be given so if start portion is not given by default it start with the zero portion so if I give 4 it will go only to third portion it will not go to fourth portion so 0 1 2 3 clear this is a general syntax this is how it goes so I can able to extract the string whatever I want by mentioning a start and end where your start or end is mandatory and the other one is the option 1 clear and the next one is step value I didn't mention start value end value if I give a step value as 2 what could be your output by default what is the start value it start with the 0th position so it start with the 0th position s yes. and next push next step value by default is step, step value will be 1 so if here by default step value is if it is starting with 1 it goes with 2 3 4 here what is the step value I have given step value is 2 so start with s yes, the next value will be g and next value will be n and next value will be a that is the output you are getting clear by default if the step value is not given step value will be considered as increment by 1 if you are given the step value will be considered increment by 2 this is how it executes clear the same way here you can be able to mention negative indexing also this negative indexing can be mentioned as name of colon colon minus 1 if you are giving such a way it will start with the last portion it will start with the last character a and it will display in a reverse order clear this is how your negative indexing work in case of slicing. I hope so you are clear how to access a string and next we will move on to how to delete a string and how to change a string. Okay, first let, let us understand whether changing a string is possible. Changing a string or change a character in a string. First let us understand this whether this is possible let us check to it this is not possible where strings are by default immutable by nature that is the reason if you are trying to change any character in a string it will throw me an error for example we are consider the variable name and this has a value suganya now let us assume that if I want to modify this a s with some other character when you are trying to do with it, yes is denoted by using the index portion 0. If I am trying to modify with this particular 0th portion with a, when I am trying to change such a way, it will throw me an error where this kind of modification is not possible. The reason is by default strings are immutable by nature. Clear? And next, if I want to delete a string, is that possible? Yes, that is possible by using a keyword called del followed by a variable name. So what happened? It will be deleted. Now when you are trying to access a name, it will throw me an error that name don't define. Clear? Okay. And next we will move on to next topic that is nothing but concatenation. Concatenation is nothing but joining of two strings. That is nothing but concatenation and this is represented by using plus symbol. So let me initialize this name once more. Since I have data, let me initialize it. And let me give one more variable for initial, initial as yes. Clear. Now I am going to join these two strings. So let me give name. I want to join name and initial. And followed by dot symbol. And plus symbol followed by init. Also clear with this. I am joining two strings. Two strings can be joined by using concatenation. This concatenation is represented by using a plus symbol. 
So what happens here? Suganya dot s will be initialized here. Clear? This is how you are going to do it. Where two strings can be joined, where string and integer cannot be joined. Clear? String with string concatenation is possible. And next we can move on to replication. That is nothing but duplication. How can I duplicate a string? Duplication of string is possible by using star symbol. For example, if I give name star of 3. What happens? This name will be repeated thrice. Clear? This is how it executes. And next, checking for a substring. If you want to check whether substring is there or not, it can be done by using membership operator. For example, I can check GA, membership operator is in, so GA in name. If I am giving such a way, it will throw me the output true or false, whether GA is there or not. Clear? I hope so you are clear with this string. Here in this particular video, we have seen about how to declare a string, how to access a string, how to delete a string and how to do concatenation, replication and substrings. If at all you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you.